for sure, but then at the same time, I mean, we played some lights out games this week where we felt like we were playing probably at the top of our game and we're going into provincials with that in the back of our minds that, you know, we know we can do that. Yeah, definitely draw weight was up and down and every time it was keener, I was heavy and then it would be heavier and we'd be light. So yeah, it was definitely more challenging ice and we just didn't get it and they obviously did. Right? No, it was off and on. Like it went from sometimes it would, you know, just get a little bit softer and be a little heavier and then it would keen up. Maybe it was how many rocks down a path in a row, I'm not sure, but we just didn't. You know, we played well both games, so, you know, it felt really good out there. Definitely. You had your shooting pants on today. I mean, triples, doubles, uh, the rink did. Yeah, definitely. You know, we came out to play today and it really showed. Uh, you know, we're, we're making all kinds of shots and that's exactly what we want to be doing and we're going to mm -hmm. come out with the same fire tomorrow. No, there isn't a secret game plan. We know that they're going to play great every time we play them. We have to come out with our A game yeah, and, see it's you know, just, it, right? just try to, if there's any opportunities that we're given, we have to try to, to make the best out of, the, out of them and we just have to play our game and, and work hard yeah, at it. Yeah, definitely, you know, but we, we do like the draw game too, so, you know, whatever, if it's a close game and you mm -hmm. get to make those draw shots, it's kind of nice that the ice is holding up great and it's just, you know, it's great to play on, so if you're going to be playing those draw shots, it, it works well too. There was maybe one side that was slightly, like, just a slight different speed than the other, but mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't much of a difference and, you know, you could make it up with speed, but... Yeah, uh, you know, their team, they, they just struggled a little bit with the draw weights and, you know, with having an early lead, we were able to, to hit away a little bit. So definitely, you know, she brings a ton of experience for one, you know, just being able, uh, her and I in the house were able to kind of talk about things and she sees it as a skip's perspective as well. And so that's, a, that's an interesting dynamic that we have, which is nice because she understands what I'm thinking out there without actually speaking it. Uh, the other thing is she just brings a calming manner to the whole team, you know, like she doesn't get too up or down with things and, uh, you know, I think it really comes across for all of us and we, we have a lot of fun out there, you know, she's always smiling and, um, yeah, we she's a great asset to our team. You know, you know we've, we've known Sherry for years and really there was only good things that could come of it and as long, you know, sometimes it's whether the skip wants to play third or play right. a different position and Sherry was like, you know, this this could be a lot of fun and she's having a lot of fun with it. She like she enjoys the sweeping part and the interaction with the front end, you know, you never really get that as a skip so she's really enjoying that and, um, you know, having that part of it really work out I think is definitely helping the team.